Now for this next part, we're told that this finite region R between x equals the natural log of 2 and x equals the natural log of 4, the x-axis and the curve C, this area is rotated through 360 degrees about the x-axis. And we've got to use calculus to find the exact volume of the solid generated. So this is a typical volumes of revolution question. Now, in the previous part, we found out that the Cartesian equation for this curve C was y equals e to the 2x minus 2. So you could use the Cartesian form to work out the volume of revolution. I will show you, though, in another video how you can do it just using the parametric form, which is generally what we do do in questions like this. Um, but it's just purely because we were asked to work out the Cartesian form that we might as well pick up on this. So, when we're trying to work out the volume of revolution, say V, about the x-axis, it's given by the formula pi times the integral from x1, if you like, to x2, which in this case is the natural log of 2 to the natural log of 4 of y squared with respect to x. Now we know what y is, it's e to the 2x minus 2, so all we need to do is just square that. So again we've got our integral going between the natural log of 2 and the natural log of 4, and when we square y we're going to have e to the 2x then minus 2 all squared integrated with respect to x. Now let's expand that uh, bracket next. So our integral then is still from natural log of 2 to the natural log of 4. And if we expand the bracket, we've got e to the 2x all squared, which is e to the 4x. And then we have twice the product. The product is minus 2e to the 2x, but we need to double that. So it's going to be minus 4e to the 2x. And then we square the last term, which is going to be plus 4. OK. Now, if we integrate each of these terms, we're going to have pi times then if we integrate e to the 4x, we get e to the 4x over 4. Integrate minus 4e to the 2x, that's going to be minus 4e to the 2x all over 2. And we can cancel out at this stage. We could cancel that 2 into that 4, and that would be a 2 there. And then for the last term, integral of 4 with respect to x is going to be 4x. So we've got our limits now going from the natural log of 2 to the natural log of 4. So it's just a case now of substituting our values in. So therefore we've got that v equals pi times. Now for the first one then, when we substitute the natural log of 4 in, we're going to have e multiplied by 4 times the natural log of 4 all over 4 and then the next term is going to be minus 2 e times 2 times the natural log of 4 plus 4 times the natural log of 4. So that's the first part and then in the next part I'm running out of room here so we'll have to come down below here so we'll have our bracket and we've got e to the power 4x, so that's 4 times the natural log of 2, again over 4, minus then 2e to the 2x, so that's 2e to the 2 times the natural log of 2, and finally plus 4x, so that would be plus 4 times the natural log of 2. Okay, now, when we're doing this, this works out quite nicely because we can take the 4 that's in front of the natural log up as a power, so we've got 4 to the power 4, and that's going to be 256. So e to the power, sorry, I should say e to the natural log of 256 
is 256 and then divided by 4 that's 64 so you could do this mentally okay or okay you might well do it on your calculator but these do work out as exact values well, if you work out the next one, it comes out at minus 32 if you do it in a kind of similar way. And 4 times the natural log of 4, well, we'll just leave that in as 4 natural log of 4. Well, we've got that bit there. Similarly, with this one, you can either do it on your calculator or do it in your head. You will find you get 4 for that term. This term comes to minus 8, and then you've got plus 4 times the natural log of 2. So when we group this up, we've got pi here. 64 take 32 leaves us with 32. And then you've got here, what's this? 4 minus 8 is minus 4. Minus minus 4 is plus 4. So you've got 32 plus another 4. So that's going to be 36. And then when it comes to the natural logs, you've got plus four times and you might as well pull four out as a common factor here because you've got four times the natural log of four minus four times the natural log of two so we've got the four out the front so just put natural log of two there and then using the subtraction rule for logs this will be the same as the natural log of four over two which is the four divided by two which is 2. So you're going to have pi times 36 plus 4 natural log of 2, the result of 4 divided by 2. I suppose you could pull out 4 as a common factor here. If you did, you're going to get 4 pi then, and in the bracket, simply 9 plus the natural log of 2. All right, so either that answer or that answer, I'm sure, would do for a question like this. So there you go. There's one way of finding that volume of revolution.